Hello, welcome back again. This is Fred, your agronomist. Uh, we are still learning, still continuing with the farm progress. Like I've always assured you and promised you, anything new, anything that I see, anything that I do, I'll always and keep updating you because it's a learning process. I'm learning and I continue educating you. Uh, so uh, due to the change of environmental when we have ash environmental condition when well, it's very hot we usually experience different things that are brought in by uh, change of environment and uh, among them is a fallen pest a lot of pest and a lot of diseases and um, as we are experiencing now because uh, the weather is very hot as you can see the field looks very clean. There are no weeds that are growing here. There are no weeds that are growing. It's because we haven't received rain for quite a good time. Have you seen this in your field? The yellowing of uh, of uh, watermelon vines. Have you seen this? It's affecting the leaves, and it is also affecting the uh, 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 the small fruit. Because as you can see, the vines are not okay. The small fruit is not okay, so nothing is okay. And as you can see, like in this vine, we've already we lose these two fruit because it's it's not it's a dangerous disease. And the question is, as a farmer, you should ask yourself, what is this? Because so many farmers are encountering this. This is a tobacco mosaic virus. Now you should know uh, because uh, the first thing uh, like I've always been telling you is to identify the problem and to know the solution what causes a uh, tobacco mosaic virus in watermelon uh, tobacco mosaic virus in watermelon is caused by three major pests one pest is aphids the second pest is uh, mites red spider mites and the third pest is uh, drips. All these uh, pests are encouraged by ash and environmental condition when it's very hot. And how now do we control this disease or what is the cure for this disease? One, there is no cure for, for viruses. This is like uh, COVID-19. This is like all of the viruses, you know, in uh, attacks human being. Now the same happens to, to crops. If it attacks the crops, there is no control of this. Now, what is the solution for this then? The solution for this is controlling all the aphids, it's controlling all the, 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 the mites, and it's controlling all the drips because it spread, they are the vectors, uh, they are the carriers, they carry the, 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 the disease, and because since they are sucking insect, they come and transmit the disease to the pest. If, uh, if there is no pest, this disease cannot spread to the next plant because there is no vector or there is no carrier. So what you do is to make sure even if the environment is not conducive uh, for the plant, you are supposed to be fighting day and night if possible to make sure you control all these pests because they are the main challenge. This can destroy your whole field within a very short period of time. Like for example now, in this uh, one crop that uh, I've discovered that is attacked by this disease, uh, in order now to make sure I control this because uh, most of the pests that will be feeding on this area, if they transfer to the next plant, they will be culling with themselves the pests. So I'm going to remove all these vines or I'm going to remove all the vines that are, are already affected uh, so that I can be able to control this among the control measures to remove all the vines and to make sure the field is free. And also if the, 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 the weather changes, uh, if the, the lace comes, also it can be uh, another solution to calm down or to reduce the uh, the magnitude or the the, 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 uh, the spread of the disease. Because like I told you, uh, when it's very hot, the drip pests are very active and they are uh, they work they work at a very high speed. So the rains are the ones that can be able to reduce that. So what we do is we remove the vines, we control all the pests. Please note. Anything that affect the leaves, affect the flowers, and will definitely affect the fruit. So uh, this disease you have, you have to be very cautious because uh, if it is spread in the whole field, 
you are going to lose all your plants all the uh, your plant and in the, uh, if you lose the, the vegetation you will have lost uh, the flowering and you will have lost the fruit so be very cautious and make sure if you see such a simple term these are uh, 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 tobacco mosaic virus and it's very destructive and you need to be especially to farmers who are in areas that are very hot areas that are not receiving rains you are supposed to be very cautious in order to be able to identify the disease and in order to be able to fight the disease that has been a great session uh, for you this is one of the great sessions we are supposed to learn and if you have not joined the channel subscribe to this channel invite other farmers so that we can continue learning together bye